Hello Techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. In this session, we are going to see the various debug options which are available in UiPath Studio. We have seen the introduction of RPA and the introduction of UiPath Studio and various UiPath panels available in uh, UiPath Studio uh, which can enhance our uh, automation experience, right? When you are uh, doing an automation, when you are developing a robot using UiPath Studio. So the same way, uh, in any technology, debugging helps the developer a lot. Debugging is the heart of development. Without debugging, 99% of the developers cannot give their best, right? It, it's not as simple as such, like again and again, we do some changes and run it and test it and then go back and fix it, right? So it saves our time also, a debug. So to find out, to fine tune the bugs in the code, we use this debugging techniques. So now let us see the various options which are available in UiPath Studio in this debug, right? So for the people who don't know about the debug, let me introduce that too, keeping the beginners in mind. So debugging options okay so let us see what is this debug means okay first of all let us learn about this debug before that i request you all to please do subscribe our channel since this is our uh, um, what to say uh, this will uh, boost me gives me uh, encourage me uh, so that i can get um, more and more videos on good content and with more practice sessions okay also if you like our videos please give a like and share with your friends and colleagues now let us dive into this so what is debug so before going to debugging options of UiPath studio first of all let us know its importance actually okay so as the name says debug right what it will do it will identify and removes the errors in any programming okay it is a general uh, uh, generic definition so debug bug in the sense some error in terms of software okay so debugging means identifying and removing the errors in any programming clear so now let us see the importance of debugging Okay, importance of debugging. You know what, even in our day-to-day uh, -day life, we used to debug a lot. Say right from the cooking. So when we are cooking something, uh, just, just, just forgetting, but uh, this is a very good example. When we are cooking something, we'll first taste it with a, just just a soup, uh, just a spoon of uh, uh, taste, just to understand whether all the salt, pepper, whatever you add, whether it is up to the mark or not, right? And also, uh, if if you are starting a car, you you will test whether uh, the tire uh, tires has uh, enough air or not, whether the fuel is there or not, right? Before you start your vehicle. So all these comes under debugging, okay? Before we keep our things into real production or the production environment, whatever we uh, test it, whatever we, uh, I mean, whatever actions we perform to make sure that it is up to the mark, up to the mark in the sense, whether it is meeting the criteria or not, okay? So those actions are called as debugging. Now, let us see the importance of debugging. If you don't do the debugging, what, what might happen? So, let us take the same scenarios, two scenarios, cooking and starting your vehicle. So, come to cooking. Without tasting it before, you uh, serve it to your family or to your uh, um, guests. Just think, if something goes wrong, it, it, it will have a big impact, right? So, that, that is the importance of testing it before. Testing it in the sense we are not testers, right? We, we as developers, we cannot test end to end. But the thing is, we can make sure whether it is meeting the criteria, the requirement or not. How we are going to 
um, uh, make sure about this using this debugging. Okay, let us consider the same car or a vehicle to wheeler. So we, we without fuel or without air in your um, uh, vehicle tires, you may not uh, you may not complete your ride. You may not reach your destiny. So that that means the requirement is not fulfilled, right? So there, there will be a huge impact on the destiny, whatever, wherever uh, you are going to on the vehicle. So that is the importance of debugging. Now let us come back to our software, software implementation, automation. Now let us see the importance of debugging in terms of automation. Just imagine you, you have developed something using Studio, UiPath Studio, and you just moved it to production. Assuming that it will work or you just move to testing uh, uh, phase, assuming that it will work or, uh, or uh, uh, asking them to test it. And they identified some errors. Testers, what they will do, they will test according to the test cases and they will uh, come up with few errors or exceptions, whatever they got as a result of their test cases. Now, what you will do? you are supposed to go each and every activity or each and every line of your code if you are not aware of this debugging techniques, right? So you don't know where exactly it got failed. If there is no debugging concept, you developers will not know where exactly it got failed. Every time you have to do some trial and errors saying, oh, starting uh, start, start activity is this one, so it might have failed. At this place let me change something else so if, if you keep on changing something and if you keep on executing it 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 may instead of fixing the error it may result with some some more errors right so that is the importance of debugging let me give a few words for this okay so developers cannot find the exact place of error right time take to fix the bugs right and this may lead to leads to may may okay may leads to new bugs as well right so this is the importance of debugging now let us come to the UiPath Studio debugging options. Since this is an automation, see if if, uh, if it is with some other technologies, it will be straight away uh, requirement in order to fulfill that. But automation is something which will run without human intervention, right? So we, we should uh, rely on the robot, the backend process, what it is executing. If something goes wrong this there will be a huge impact so our automation whatever we are going to uh, develop should be uh, what to say compliance free should should meet the uh, requirement at least 99 percent right we should give our automation we should we should uh, automate the process we should provide give a robot to the business which should not end up with uh, a drastic issues, right? So we, uh, uh, that, that's how we are supposed to develop. That is the target of automation because automation target is something that uh, to, to earn a lot compared to, compared to the human beings, right? To save money or to, uh, uh, what to say, process the requests very fast without any issues. Issues in the sense without failures, right? without uh, human errors instead of human errors if our code is going to do some drastic uh, uh, issues in our uh, uh, business that may not be recoverable right so that is the reason debugging is very important when you automate a process so let us see how uipath studio provided the debugging options to fulfill this right now let us go to our studio i have already covered this uh, in our uh, uipath in uh, studio introduction and uh, uipath studio uh, panels right 
but on a high level now let us see in deep with some uh, practice session so there is uh, the, if, if you see this top right, uh, sorry left corner home design debug there is a tab called debug home right design and debug just click on the debug then you will come to know about these many options here there are debug step into step over step out breakpoints all these are there right let's see the debug these options how to use these options along with the practice session okay please take a notebook and pen and make notes of this session so that it will be useful for you to refer in future when you are attending uh, an interview or when you start debugging okay uh, your automation so uipath studio debugging options in uipath studio we have uh, many debugging options available here now if you see the starting one debug file okay so by default we have debug file option which is f6 so default debugging option is debug file f6 okay so this is our first point next so there are multiple options in the default uh, debugging option if you go to it you could see run file debug run so debug file will debug the current file so let us have some multiple files here let me create one more uh, uh, file let me have a sequence okay so debug sequence okay so i have two files now now when i go to debug and when i start debug file it will start debugging the current file not from the beginning or not the entire project no next run file similarly run file will run the current file not the entire it will ignore the rest of the files and it will run only the this current file next debug debug will complete project c on mouse over it is telling it will debug the complete project project in the sense all the workflows all the files run also similarly complete project it will execute the complete project now let us quickly make a note of all these options so we have debug and then run then run file okay so debug what it will do debugs entire project run what it is going to do it is going to run entire project right and run file it will runs means executes current file okay uh, let me give it execute here for easy understanding and debug file this is one more option what it will do it will be debugs current file and there are uh, shortcuts for these two like f6 and um, for debug run and run file let us see for run file it is uh, control plus f6 debug f5 control plus f5 f5 control plus f5 okay run file it is control plus f6 okay so these are the multiple options which are available in the default button first button right now let us move on to the next one when we start 
debugging say let me uh, show you how to use this so i'm just having a activity here okay where i'm printing hi techies right let me save this now just i am going to give one breakpoint here okay we'll talk about this breakpoint later for now just remember this so i'm de debugging this file see i just clicked it so what it will do it starts debugging only this particular file current file right not the other files hmm? and we we could see some different panels as soon as it uh, went to debug mode okay okay now forget about all this we'll come to that later now we have something called continue and stop okay continue f5 or f6 and stop f12 right as soon as we start the debugging we got continue stop okay now let us quickly add this while debugging we got continue stop restart okay and then focus focus okay enabled also let us go back let us stop why we use continue i i, I don't want to uh, what to see uh, say suppose let me let me uh, have few more activities i'll show a direct demo on continue for now i'm using stop to stop the debugging and i'll add few more activities to explain you better on the continue part let me have uh, what to say few assign activities okay and then a uh, message a simple one message box a log message okay and then a sequence where i want to move all these things inside okay now let me have something here hello welcome now let me use something control k s t or underscore welcome message okay so i am passing some hi welcome okay now let me save this and i am going to uh, remove the debugging here toggle breakpoint for now i have just disabled it we'll talk about this later okay what i did what i'm going to do is i'm keeping some breakpoint here and then here okay now let us start debugging this file debugging has started and we we got uh, continue stop when before continue we got break if you observe right so there is an option break okay so now when i say continue just just observe here this blue highlighted one when i say continue it is going to continue it is showing this it, it has executed the message box and it has executed the log message and it got stopped at the next breakpoint till that point of time it has executed right it, it didn't went to log message it has executed but it didn't stopped right so continue in the sense it is continuing the execution till next breakpoint got it right so this is what i want to explain you now let us stop okay now our main focus is to know the differences here now if you run the file it will execute the file this particular file if you debug it will start from the main okay same way if you run it will start from the main i i hope you got this now let us come to step into step over and step out options i hope this is clear right step into 
next step over let me give a clear explanation on this and step out okay now let's see what is step into don't, don't blindly uh, remember the definitions the word itself will give a clear explanation if you start thinking in this way. step into it is stepping into something right it is stepping into your house it is step, stepping into your room it is stepping into a container okay now let us go back to our debug sequence so here I am starting this debug. So break is there, right? So now it has stopped here. If I click on continue, it will move on to the next breakpoint. This is clear, right? Now see step into just mouse over to it. You could see the uh, shortcut key for this F11. Okay. Why we use step into? Just click on step into. What it is doing? It has executed this activity. And where it went? It went to the next activity. It didn't skip this uh, activity and went to the next breakpoint, right? It has stepped into and went to the next activity. It's, it's corresponding next activity, okay? It didn't jump to, till, uh, to next container or next uh, breakpoint, right? It has stepped into the activities see the uh, dot it, it just moved to the next dot right right got it right let us click on this again now what is your assumption from you you just observe this blue one okay blue highlighted one on click of step into where it is supposed to go is it supposed to go to right line or is it supposed to go to sequence yes you are right let us see See, it, is supposed, it, it went to the outer part. Okay, right? Now, again we'll test this. Again we use step into. It went to next activity. Right? Got the difference, right? It, it is not just covering the activities, but also it is going to each and every container. And inside the container also it is going. It's not just covering the containers. Okay? It is stepping into each and every container or each and every activity in a sequence way. Okay. So now let us write what it is doing. It is, it is opening and highlighting the activity before it is executed. Right. Also, if you use the step into on workflows, it will open that work, invoke workflows. And say suppose I have used an invoke workflow here in the in my activities. It is just uh, it, it it will not just go to that invoke workflow. Instead, it will open that invoke flow workflow, and even in that uh, new file, it will be starting executing from each activity. Okay, it will debug each activity. Okay, clear. Now let us move on to step over. Okay. So let us use step over here. Let me stop this and let me use it again. So we have two debug points here. Now let me start debugging the file. Okay, now see it has stopped at the first breakpoint. Now if, if you observe this dot and it is the arrow mark is just like skipping, right? It is skipping something stepping over okay now let us use this and see you just you just keep on uh, observing this blue one step over step over step over right now I'll, I'll give you a best example this way you cannot understand let me stop this I'll take one more sequence
what I'll do, I'll be adding a log message here, saying the second sequence. Entered, entered, second sequence. Okay, now uh, let me have. Okay, let let us start the debugging. If if you observe the step into and step over, step into actually it has highlighted the activity and it has executed. But step over, let me click on step into. What it did. It, it has highlighted this and then it has executed and it moved to the next one. Whereas if you click on the step over, it, it will just go to the next activity. Okay, that means it, it is not prompting anything. Got it? No, I'll, I'll make you make this clear. Let us continue to this. Now it is into first sequence, right? Right, this, uh, this blue one. Now I'll stepping over this okay what it will do it it is going to the next sequence where is it if, if you see here step over step over that's it it is not entering into the next activity since that we have a breakpoint inside this it has executed this activity it didn't went to the assign activity Similarly, here in sequence, it just executed the outer part, then it came out of it. Want to see one more time? Let me stop it. I'll show it again. Let me remove all the, okay, we'll, we'll remove this particular debug point so that it will be easy for you to understand. I'll show you this, okay. Now, let us debug this file. Okay, step over. First, first activity done. Step over, second activity is done. Now just uh, watch it carefully. It is supposed to go inside the right line and then uh, assign activity, right? Then come up, uh, come out of the sequence. Sequence is this. This is nothing but a container of these two, right? And one more sequence. This acts as a container of this particular activity. Now just see this. It didn't went inside, right? You notice the difference, right? See? Right? It, it, it is just working on the outer part, means the containers, not going into, not going inside. Okay? It is stepping over. Okay? Got it? Clear, right? So now quickly uh, take a note. Step over. Unlike step into, it's not like step into, what it is doing, it will just highlight the containers without going inside the containers, okay, in general terminology. I hope you got this clearly. Step into, stepping into and stepping over. That's it. Now let us move on to step out. So without opening the containers. Without opening the containers. Okay. It will, I'll, I'll give you this way. It will execute the activities inside the containers without opening the containers. Say for example, uh, say we have some flowcharts or sequences, it, it will just execute them. Okay. Now let us move on to step out. It is coming out. Okay. Let us see. Step out. Now let us just debug this file. So let me uh, just fine tune this. I have one more sequence inside this. And then uh, see here we have a debug sequence inside that one more sequence. And this is one more sequence. Okay. Now let us say second sequence. And then third sequence. Okay. 
Now let us start debugging this. Uh, debug file. Okay. Now, uh, okay, debugging started. Wait until this or enable. Now let me uh, just use step into. I'm going inside. I just want to go inside any uh, of the sequence. So that I'm going to use step into. So now if you see here, I'm in second sequence. Now I'm clicking step out. See, it, it has executed all the activities without highlighting the other containers or other activities inside this outer uh, container. It has just escaped and came out of this sequence, right? Now again, click on step out. It has executed the rest of the activities and then came out of this. So I hope you got the difference. So what it is doing, it is use it to come use it to come out of the containers okay it is used in nested loops nested conditions or activities or loops okay to come out of it while debugging instead of wasting our, our uh, time if we if you are uh, sure about the bug where it is and all right if we don't want to uh, debug further and if we want to come out of that particular piece of um, container we can use step out well, i hope you got a clear understanding on this now let us move on to retry ignore and restart okay for better understanding i'll be creating one more uh, sequence in this let me have a, a sequence new sequence uh, let me name it as a what to say open excel file okay and then uh, what we do let us have a, uh, go to activities uh, let us have a sequence okay just rename it to sequence open excel okay now i'm going to drag and drop uh, one log message which is of type uh, info right and I'm giving a message saying opening um, uh, an excel okay now let us use a workbook okay read range read range okay read range read range no this is excel one let us go for a workbook read range workbook just drag and drop this I have already created an excel file for our demo purpose here let me uh, navigate to that uh, excel file using this okay and then i'm going to give a sheet name here now just save it okay now let us have a right line activity here right line okay yes simple right line here and just give some value here just like um open the uh, uh, an excel okay so now uh, when i start debugging this let us go to debug and let us click on debug file so it is going to debug this current file alone this open excel file and you could see this different panels here right so just see see this it has came here until read range workbook because what i did i just opened i just kept this open okay i just opened this file since that workbook has a uh, uh, doesn't work if we have opened the excel file so it, it is supposed to be closed when we want to execute it right so because of that reason it has thrown some exception in this scenario just you you notice that this retry ignore restart all these been enabled now so when some error been occurred during debugging all these options be um, enabled right earlier all these are in grade grayed out right so now let's see one by one re-execute the current activity if i click on this what it is going to do it is re-executing if you see this it has executed again and it has thrown so sometimes while debugging we may miss few uh, exceptions right 
what where and where exactly it has happened or we we want to go back to the previous uh, uh, activity and we want to execute it i want to see what happened with this i can keep a slow activity slow step and all i will will talk about this later so i if whenever i want to go back and re execute this particular activity we are going to use this re retry clear now let us make a note of this quickly right retry whenever an error occurred this is enable this option is enable and why we use this use it to re execute the activity okay in debug mode okay clear now let us go on to the next one what is the next one ignore ignore the term can explain this it, it is asking us whether to ignore or not we can ignore this exception and continue the exception from the next activity okay if whatever we do if we step into what happens it is coming out of this right instead of that you could see here the next right line has not executed okay now instead of that i if i use the ignore it will ignore that exception and it will go to the next activity right during debugging i i have noted that this exception is occurring but still i want to continue to see the other bugs or other issues so in such scenarios we can use this if i say ignore it is moving on to next one you notice this difference right so this is how we'll ignore and again if i uh, okay let us note it down ignore why we use ignore ignores the current error and executes the next activity okay so next what is the other option restart so it is restarting right let us see what is exactly so we we came till this point of uh, activity this, this activity now what is restart restart from the first activity so instead of going to the next option next activity say suppose let me stop this let me stop this and uh, start this again debug the file again now i think it will stop it here now if i click on restart it it is not going out of this container or it is not moving to the next activity instead it will start from the beginning let me click on the restart you just concentrate on this part see it has restarted right it has restarted you you just notice the one right you it has restarted the execution and it came till here for better understanding i'll keep some break points so that you can uh, understand you can catch the difference okay let me stop this and keep some break points since there are no break points it is again and again stopping here let me keep some break point okay come come on come on yes now let us debug this okay yes now uh, let me just click on step into step into right we got an exception now i i'll be restarting this so it is supposed to start from the beginning from the excel right you could notice this right exactly it came here you notice the difference right so it has restarted and you could see this complete output whatever exception been uh, thrown here been cleared and it has ex uh, started the execution debugging process again so this is how we'll use restart okay let us take a quick note restarts the debugging process from the first activity okay now let us see the other option that is focus don't worry about the timing and all you just 
give some time to understand these concepts so no one can stop you you will you can become a debugging king or queen okay so let us see focus what is the focus see we have an uh, option here focus execution point let us see what happens to this when i click on this it is supposed to get to the activity which which has caused the uh, error so let us uh, I'll, I'll give you a clear understanding uh, i'll add few more activities so that you will understand this point oh uh, let us have few more what what can be okay let us take some easy ones let us have two more okay just for uh, explanation purpose i'm just giving some simple activities okay so now we have some different uh, many uh, activities here where this is supposed to be throwing some exception it has to throw some exception this read range now let us see the difference so yes this is expected because this we have a breakpoint here we'll talk about these breakpoints and all later when when i come to this part okay for now it, it has started debugging the process now see when i use step into it is going to next activity step into it is executing that activity and it has thrown an exception saying the process cannot access the file okay it, it because of some issues it, it is not able to access the file for uh, stop thinking about the uh, issue but just keep in mind that it has failed uh, while reading the file okay now let us move on to the next this one we can ignore so that it is moving to the next one okay it it came till here now step into it went to the next one right so again few more say just think uh, here i have some invoke workflow and invoke workflow i have used step into so that it went to some other file and there it started debugging now i forgot where exactly the issue got so i want to go back to that point okay so when i click on focus just see what is what what it will do i just clicked on focus so during the debugging process i'm just going uh, to each and every uh, different what to say workflows and all okay then i want to uh, come back to the activity where exactly i am then if i use focus it it is coming back to the exact location this is one scenario and the other scenario is it it helps us to navigate using the breakpoints uh, tab here just just click on uh, the focus here so that it will go to that uh, particular uh, file and it will open that particular activity it, it will uh, focus on that particular activity if you observe here okay uh, and and one more point is it will be used to focus to the uh, current uh, the uh, latest error uh, uh, activity okay this way focus been used i hope uh, this is fine for uh, this video we'll cover the next options in our upcoming videos right so as a quick recap we have focus is used to return to the activities based on the approach you used okay so as a quick recap we have learnt what is the debug and what about importance of the debugging techniques and what are the debugging options provided by uipath studio out of those we have covered the default debugging options and while debugging um, uh, what we got continue stop restart and focus and after that step into we have uh, seen a practice session on step into step over step out with clear understanding as well as retry ignore restart focus and all right so i think this is uh, uh, a clear under uh, informative session for everyone including me with a good practice um, session 
so if you like this video please give a like and please do share with your friends and colleagues for better understanding please do subscribe our channel and select all option in bell icon thank you so much for your support so far meet you through our next videos till then keep watching our videos and keep learning happy learning and happy automating bye bye